Welcome to the car, guys. This week, Jason is about to go on a special search. I've really desired a hot hatch for a while, so we're down here at Four Star Classics, who have got a Honda Integra Type R, Ooh. plus some other very juicy things. So we're going to have a look round, maybe go out for a couple of test drives. Now this is right up my street, and I know you're going to like this too. What are your thoughts, Jason, on the Alfa Romeo SZ? Looks like it's a bunch of body parts that have been pulled out of a bin and shoved together with super glue on it. It looks ridiculous. But it sort of works. But it sort of works. It is a very iconic. I secretly do really like Desire it. it. Yeah. But only because of the weirdness. Yeah. Is it a hot hatch? Check the back. Is it a hot hatch? Do you know what? No, it isn't. That's a hatchback in there? No, I think that's a saloon. Boot. That's a boot. Oh, there's no, saloon. there's no hatch. There's no hatch here. It's not a hot hatch, which means you're not allowed to look at it today. Oh, really? Is that how it works? Correct. Oh, right. So there's only one person oh. allowed to look at it today, and that's me. So clearly, this is a hot hatch search. So I'm not allowed to be talking about this. But look at this. It's not a real Alpina but it's as close to a real Alpine as you can get for the money. It just looks amazing. Look at those yellow headlights. Look at them. How incredible is that? Those Alpina stripes. Honda Integra R. This is a DC2 as well, which apparently is the better one of the bunch. This is mm -hmm. one of the all time greats. In terms of hot hatch status, this is up there. This is probably one of the top three hot hatches you can buy yeah, ever. In... I've got the key. <laughs> so this is the Honda Integra R in white. In white. With a bluey interior, which is not wholly offensive. This is a very purposeful, special, special place to be, isn't it? It is. We are on hallowed ground, people. We really are, and I'm really quite excited about this. What we have to do is remember that the indicators are on the other side of the steering wheel. So unfortunately, today is a little bit damp. Sod's law, whenever we go to Four Star Classics, the heavens open. Right, so give me some stats on this particular car. How old are we? This oh. is a 1997 car, so this is 21 years old. 0 right. to 60, 6.2 seconds. It is relatively quick, but it's just how quick you can keep that cut, that speed through the corners. It's the handling that defines this the car. R. Look at the famous oh, sort of that gear metal stick gear stick. It's just amazing, isn't it? it? Falls perfectly to hand. It's just exactly the right size. It's brilliant, and the gearbox very snickety. It's the essence of snickety, isn't it? It's lemony snickets. It's also got no petrol in it. That's the first thing we learn about the Integra R is that the petrol cap is on the passenger side. First impressions, um, it's very light at the front. It's all very light. <laughs> Classic car guys, in joke. Uh, it feels quite direct and I'm loving this gearbox. It's amazing, isn't it? This reminds me very much of the NSX. Of course. Same thing, right? Why Prelude as well. Perfect. Yeah. Nailed that then. Tick that box, Honda. If anything, this might be even better, actually. Oh, crikey. Yeah. That's a bold statement. I'm loving the interior of this. I'm loving it. Oh, no, it's so retro. It's just so cool. You put your foot flat to the floor, there is literally nothing happening. Well, that's the VTEC engine for you. <laughs> the defining characteristic, really, of the Integra R. How well it corners and how much you have to rev the, the... living bejesus <laughs> out of it. If you're frightened, if you're a bit mechanically sympathetic this is definitely not the car for you oh, no oh. if you're if you like thrashing your mechanical which you do which i i don't i don't know where this reputation's come from essex in it essex in it tell you what's funny is like, i keep catching sight of the wing in my peripheral vision i know it's brilliant isn't I keep it thinking there's something about to overtake <laughs> us like a motorbike it's fantastic that hoop that just goes straight through the rear window it's oh. fantastic and I love the way when you look out of the wing mirrors that the body kind of swoops up like wings. Yeah, that's probably because the glass is warped. <laughs> that's probably what it is. Yeah, it's warped from all the high speed Japanese heat action. <laughs> I bet this has got neons under it. I bet there's a switch in here for oh, neons where somewhere. Oh, that? It must Guaranteed. be. Guaranteed. You do sit in the car. You don't sit on it. Yeah. Which is quite nice. Great driving position. Bonnet Wheels drops exactly. away. Bonnet Dro just disappears. Drops away immediately, doesn't it? 
barely see the bonnet. Yeah. It looks like we're basically kissing the horizon. up to the height doesn't oh, it? Oh totally. That noise as it kits that extra Good. once it gets on that VTEC shizzle. Is that speedo in miles per hour or kilometres? No I'm hoping it's in kilometres. I'm hoping it's kilometres because otherwise we'd be doing kilometers. 130 miles an hour <laughs> You really have to make sure it's in that rev range don't you because it just does not want to do anything come to that point. Anything over sort of well basically 6,000 is what you yeah. is the sweet spot of the start. Suspension is very compliant though, which I quite like. It's not, I haven't lost, lost any fillings yet and all of my vertebrae are still intact. There's still time. <laughs> so last time I was in one of these was when they were brand new. Oh really? Yeah. Had a spirited drive with a, a friend of ours. Spirited drive. Oh, I sound like Sam from Scenes of Glass then. These classic old Recaros are just amazing, aren't can't, they? Can't be. They are superb. They That's why every single in. rally car had them. Oh, it's just brilliant. So what don't we like about this? We don't like the fact that the uh, idiot previous owner scraped the front bumper on one of those sort of curved armcos. No doubt Clearly whilst, drifting. whilst drifting down Mount St. Super, <laughs> those are sort of deep gouges which have been sort of not that well repaired. So it's going to need a new front bumper and I'm not sure where you get one of those from in 2018. eBay. Everything's on eBay. Everything's on eBay. Car guy is sponsored by eBay. <laughs> sponsored by, yeah. I think the main thing we have to look out for is has it had any accidents in its life? These cars, they handle very well. The, you have to rev the nuts off them, but that encourages people to go around corners very quickly at high revs, like this. Holy shit. That's amazing. That is just amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. We, that is a very, very damp corner, and we just went round it faster than we should have done. Much faster than we should have done. And it felt completely in control. The kilometre speedo does put me off a little bit. Does it? Well, only that I'm having to do mental calculations about how quickly I'm going. Have you never heard of post-its? Post-its? <laughs> Tip-X? <laughs> I mean, you look very comfortable in this car, I have to say. The driving position is absolutely magical. It's such a nice drive. I knew it would be. I knew you'd love this. Oh, this is so good. Do you want to go? Oh yeah, yeah, I should do, shouldn't I? Right. So let's see what the fuss is all about, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the magic already. We're going to be going 20 seconds and already I'm hooked. Driving position is perfect, isn't it? It's very good. Just hook your thumbs in and you're yeah. just there. Yeah. That wing is just so dominant, isn't, isn't it? it? I love it. You just keep catching it out of the corner of your eye. Yeah, and it makes you smile yeah. every, every single, single time. time. And the ride's really compliant. You can feel everything through that wheel. Yeah. It's only got little tiny tyres on it, which means that you can jiggle it around and feel the, for the grip, not go, oh my God, grip, 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 hedge. It almost feels like you're in a touring car with one of those sequential gear changes, because <laughs> it's just so nice. It's right where you want it. I'm loving this. Aren't you? Oh, this is this car is so sold. <laughs> this is so sold. So sold. Feel that grip. Feel that grip come through the front end. Oh, how good is that? It, it gives you confidence, doesn't it? I mean, that's the thing. Is it really gives you confidence? Yeah. Oh, it just looks so good. It gives good reflection without a doubt. So good. It makes me want to have a, an NSX Type R now in white. Oh, how amazing would that be? Just to sit next to it. Oh, it'd be amazing. So it's just under 200 brake horsepower, it's 197 brake yeah. horsepower, yeah. So, you know, it just goes to show you don't need ludicrous horsepowers to have fun. No, of course you don't. Not if you're, um, especially when you've got very thin section tyres. The reason why we're here this week is because you are looking for a hot hatch, yeah. a classic hot hatch. Classic hot hatch. Yeah. And already you're smitten. <laughs> so does that mean the search is over? This is it now. So this is the problem, isn't it? So, But I know what's going to happen is that I'm going to say, well, I'm not so sure I'm going to keep looking. And you're going to go, well, I've booked it anyway. <laughs> if you don't buy this, I am buying this. I tell you, that is a real possibility. Here we are back at Four Star, Four Star Classics. What do you think then? So final verdict for you, the Integra R. Amazing. 
This is amazing, isn't it? What is there not to like about this? I mean, obviously, if it's been <laughs> if it's swapped ends and hit every crash if barrier inside, <laughs> and it's slightly bent, then obviously it's not the particular car. But an Integra Type R is definitely. If it's not in my collection, it's going to be in yours. Am I right? This is you're not wrong. <laughs> Hot hatch search. What are you thinking? Well, at the moment, the Honda is way above the 205. The Honda is almost an impulse buy, immediate buy. Yeah. In fact, we're shaking a little bit because it's so exciting. However, <laughs> it does kind of curtail the search because there would be no search because we would have found it, but we need to drive the other things. So what we'll do is we're going to go and look at some more cars now and uh, check them out to see if any of them are as good as the Integra R. Couple of uh, maybe Golf Type R. That'd be nice, Ford wouldn't it? Ford Focus, Focus RS. RS is Various good. different iterations of those that could be out there. Focus RS. Ticks all the hot hatch boxes. How about an Abarth 595? Golf R. So we've got three R's. <laughs> this isn't nice, is it? A bit too dull. Just does nothing for me. Do you want to go back to Four Star Classics right now and just buy the Honda Integra R and forget all this modern rubbish. <laughs> so join us for the next video in the hot hatch search and we'll see you soon.